Propaxi 20. Steel reinforced epoxy putty. There's the logo. Make steel hard repairs in 20 minutes. I got this one too. Plastic epoxy epoxy putty. This one's not steel enforced. So they're different. One's 20 minutes, one's um, 40 minutes. So this seems better. It cures faster and it's steel reinforced. But I don't really know. I'm going to go with the 20 minute steel reinforced one. It's not good enough. Instead, I'm going to try using this clay, this Propoxy Steel Hardened Repair Putty, forming it into this shape, and then shoving the clay onto the gear and letting it harden. I believe by doing it that way, it will have a very high integrity um, representation of a negative of this splined output shaft, so that as this output shaft turns, it won't strip and it will actually stay on there like that. I basically am creating an extension to the shaft. That's what I need. Ultimately, it's going to look like this. This is the servo, and then this is the output shaft, and then this drawing is of the extension. It's going to rotate. And these are flanges I'm going to have on it that will be turning these strings. And I drew two little strings. The strings are going to wind up in between these three flanges. Kind of like sewing thread lines up in a spool of thread. So that's what we're working on at the moment. And I don't think this is going to take that long. All I have to do is mix up a tiny amount of this clay putty, forming the shape roughly of, and the length of the shaft. And then I just need to shove it onto the output shaft of the servo and let it cure. And that's it. I think it's going to be pretty quick. Once I'm finished with that, I'm going to bust out that rib cage and work on that since this takes 20 minutes. Either that or I actually might want to uh, work on the rest of the output shaft right away. I have a couple other mods I have to make to the servo altogether. I'll play it by ear. Okay, so I, I don't need a lot. I took half of a slice. So all you have to do then is just knead it until it becomes one color.
Struggling. It's very sticky. You know, I'm gonna change my gloves. Hopefully, that'll make this less sticky to work with. has got to be not to touch it after you press it on. No exceptions, so here goes. Oh. I think I should probably just keep keep attempting this until I get the technique down because this has got to be the fastest way even if there's some trial and error to get it down I think it's worth it because the thread integrity looks damn good this is not that bad it definitely has the gear shape in there I just didn't like how that first one was wobbly and I think that was from playing around with it too much I just should have stuck it on let it cure and then we're worried about sanding it and fine-tuning later. This might see, not seem that important, but this is everything. This is like this extension will enable me to use these little motors in the way I have envisioned. And it could be, I mean, it's just, this is a must for this project. It's not optional. I'm just trying to make sure it's vertical on here. So I'm checking it from every angle. Just making a, vis a visual estimation as I rotate it. If it's even slightly off, it's going to ruin the whole thing. Because then it's going to twirl like lopsided like a helicopter. It's not going to spin like in place. Actually, I could probably set this down. Guys, I might start using this putty for all kinds of stuff. It dries pretty fast. It's extremely strong. Um, I 
does have some flexibility 